Today, it's not very visible, but I have something sketched out, and we're going to be able to do a watercolor. I think I might need to lighten some of the lines even just a bit more, just so none of them show up and interfere with the watercolor. But other than that, we are ready. So I have my watercolors out and we can just do that. If any of you guys have seen my other watercolor uh, dream catchers or anything of the sort, you already know how messy this is going to be. Intentionally messy with our comical amount of water. We just need to add this water everywhere, everywhere and all over. And if I get this coloring right, which I'm sure I'll figure out a way that will be right, I'm sure this is probably going to be my favorite watercolor because it's going to be a lot of the colors that I like. Look at all that water. Alright, now with this thing just full of water, we can go in and add colors, I guess. Whatever colors we want like that or this and this is why I love watercolor it's just so fun to just do this you can kind of just like pick any color to just do this with and it just Get these pretty, pretty stuff going on. It's kind of just going wherever it wants to, that is fine. I think I'm actually going to stand up for this one. Because it's kind of a tall picture. Whoa, that's a, that's a big boy I didn't notice. That's alright though. It's not hurting anyone. They're fixed. Kahili, good to see you here. How are you doing? I'm just doing a little watercolor today. Nothing too crazy. I mean, then again, that's kind of kind of not true. Everything I do is somewhat crazy, I guess. I'm always coming up with something.
This is fun. We're kind of just adding colors that I've added to the Westerian drawings and just putting them everywhere over here. Watercolors are fun like that. You can kind of just do whatever sometimes. fun. I need to get this, it's kind of stealing all the pigment. Hello! Good to see you here, and thank you! Also, that is very thoughtful, Cookie Lee. Oh. This little guy is back down here again. I have no idea what's going on in this. This isn't like how it usually blends though. It's not going to blend the same way every time obviously. Though it's just kind of thundering around there and I kind of like it. These would most likely be Beck feathers, so they've got to be dark. I guess this isn't exactly fair. Um, off screen, I was able to play around with some of the new colors. And I still haven't posted what I did. I'll have to do that pretty soon. Because it was very fun.
Oh, yay. That one. That one did that. That's alright, though. I can do that. You can just go ahead and do that. sit down again because we're getting closer to the bottom. I kind of want to get a slightly smaller brush. So I'm gonna do that. Get a slightly smaller brush. Now we're adding some of the brighter colors, like the colors on that crystal up there, and the colors on the insignia down here. These are so much fun to do, but I just have a feeling that I confuse quite a few people with this because it doesn't look so good at first and then once I add the line art kind of counteracts the messiness and everything comes together Thank you, Cookie Lee. I quite enjoy doing dream catchers. They're easy and fun, and you don't have to worry about getting things too messed up because you can just fix them.
here we get to make the wisteria antler. I know I actually made one a while ago. It was this antler I found in the woods and I decided to just make it into something. I didn't know it would be a wisteria antler but I'm pretty glad that I made it into one. I really like it. Miranda, thank you. Good to see you here. How are you doing? This lovely afternoon for me, at least. Don't mind the mist just yet. We are going to add some line art once we're done here. And that'll help clear everything just a little bit. Which we're getting pretty close to done with the coloring and then we'll just have a bunch of line art to go through. It's fine. I, I know the feeling. I actually get really involved in cleaning. The other day I was trying to figure out what to wear but I got nervous so I ended up finding something to wear but also cleaning up a whole bunch of my closet. I'm trying to think of just little things we can add to make this a little bit more balanced. There. I think we're pretty good color-wise, so now we just gotta wait for it to dry and then we can do the line art. Funny thing is, watercolors feel really weird once they're dry. could probably soak up some of those wells and that would make this dry just a little bit faster. Ooh. That's a cool look on that feather right there. Got yellow gradient. There we go. So now we just need to hang out and 
Let this dry for a minute. If I were on my own, I'd probably use the dryer, but that would be very loud, and I'm not going to do that to you guys. So we can all just be patient a minute and talk about our day or something. So far I think my day has been pretty good. I've just been doing this. I fixed some line art for some other things. And I've also been working just a little bit on digital stuff. You probably, you guys probably already saw from me posting about the stream. I made a nice new stream notification drawing. I quite enjoy that drawing. But I mean, the day is kind of just beginning, so I haven't done much yet. Yet. But I hope you guys are ready for Fan Art Saturday because I certainly am. It's gonna be a really fun one. I have the picture that I'm going to do for it laying just out of sight and I'm just staring at it. It just looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, uh, sure thing Miranda. I just do little things here and there that I don't actually say anything about, so it's kind of more of a surprise. Just suddenly, I have a digital drawing for my stream notification thing. Or, you know, just something little that I've changed and I like it better. Oh, I can't wait to see the fandom that I'll be doing tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Saturday as well. I'm excited. I'm excited to draw and do that. And just It's going to be fun. Like, really fun. Oh, um, there are no birthday bonus announcements today, by the way, so we, we don't have anything to announce. We can just take it easy and do our watercolor. actually uh, made a lot of hints to what I'll be doing Saturday in the Marvin and Gregory picture yesterday because I had made uh, the stream picture and then I made the Marvin and Gregory picture so everything was still fresh in my mind and just huh I can do this and I can probably do this too and just so many references were thrown in I really enjoyed the Marvin and Gregory stream actually it was so nice to have you guys there I'll probably be uploading some YouTube videos tomorrow or maybe even later today just to make sure I have everything ready to go, ready to do. <laughs> it 
It's alright. I mean, I'm glad you're excited for it. And I'm pretty sure no one can be as hyped as I can. Just... I... Don't even remember when it was. I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. But suddenly my brain was randomly just really hyped. And just... Just me. In May. This is May. My brain just... It's Halloween! <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I was like that when I was younger, too. Just... Everything was so exciting. So exciting that I couldn't sleep sometimes. But it's nice to be exciting. Excited. It's a nice feeling to be excited. Because cool things are happening. Very cool. There's apparently a lot of water there. That was stupid of me. Now I have color on my hands. Spoopy time! Spoopy time is best time. Oh, that would be pretty fun. I always cosplay characters now. Yeah, yeah, who are you thinking about cosplaying as? I'm curious now. But you know, like, I always cosplay at the conventions while I'm a vendor, so, I mean, it's a bit much to keep up with depending on how complex the outfit is, but it's not really any trouble. I mean, most of the time I get tired of sitting down, so I wander around a bit. It's just too exciting. I can't sit still. But I usually cosplay as my original characters there. And if I would have heckin' got my book done quicker, I could have had it at this next con in Texas, but I don't think we'll get it in time. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that is a hard choice. There are so many characters. Um... I do not have any recommendations because I have not, <laughs> I haven't cosplayed as any actual characters from a fandom other than my own. I cosplay as my original characters and it's so fun. I mean, uh, last con I was um, the hostess and then I was Durahaja. That one, I actually, we actually made almost the entire outfit. I think the only thing we didn't really make was the corset. And then just, uh, last day I was Jack, and that was super fun too, because we got to make the tail, and it was, it was great. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't actually have any rec recommendations. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think it's really fun doing original stuff. Definitely. I mean, of course I can't do much with my hair, but... It's still very fun. In fact, I have some of my cosplays in the 
uh, cosplay channel of my server if you wanted to check that out, I guess. See me acting like a goof. A big old goof. I also have some pictures of some other cool cosplayers in that room as well. Because there were actually like so, so many cool cosplayers at the last con. I didn't even get as many pictures as I wanted to. <sighs> yep. Well, it's not really even the curse of being dark haired for me. It's more the curse of having such long hair. I mean, I'm never cutting it. You can't get me to, but like, still. I, I would be fine with wearing wigs if I could get my hair under a wig cap, but just, ugh. I have so much hair. This picture actually isn't dry enough to do this, so... Anyone trying to use me as a tutorial, don't actually add line art when it's still this wet. It's not a good idea. Leave it to me to drag my hand through the wet paint. It really does seem like a me thing to do, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I know the feeling there, too. I mean, like, it's pretty hard trying to cosplay, like, any kind of main character because they all have protagonist hair syndrome. <laughs> just the crazy, colorful hair that just everyone knows. Ah, oh, well, that's the protagonist. I guess this is happening. Yeah, I mean, while it is a good tactic for creating, like, recognizable characters, it's also so hard to cosplay as. They're just so obviously the main character. And, like, they stick out so much. Like, it would be impossible for them to sneak around because they don't blend in at all. I kind of, like... 
did the opposite of that, just out of spite then, when thinking about that and like designing the main characters. They kind of pretty much look like normal people. Except for Blue, she's just a little bit more on the out there side. Most likely because I created her before I even knew I was going to make a series. She was kind of just a character. But then I kind of grew out of wanting them to be different in that way. Yeah. I kind of uh, did grow out of like doing that though and I think that's kind of obvious now with like the original like species, races, whatever you want to call them that I have that are just like so super heckin bright like the will-o'-wisps or the damien damien are i guess they're kind of bright i do i usually give them like duller colors or like maybe more saturated but they aren't really that bright And then I have the Thosians who are, they kind of just look like the earth, so it's kind of hard to pick them out in the crowd, I guess, too. I mean, other than the fact that their hair is all green, some shade of green, but that's just to go along with my joke that because they drink chlorophyll it turns their hair green. That's like my favorite joke to make. Because it's just so fun. I'm so glad it's warming up outside. I like the warm a lot more than the cold. I think that's happened to me before. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that it has this at some point. But, yeah, the warmest perfect sleeping weather. Nap. Your nap time.
guess I could do this. my antler and like the corner of my room is decoration and it glows when I turn the lights off and it, I'm just so glad I made it Then we have these gross flowers. They're very pretty, but very gross. Big nap indeed. Big nap is best nap. This is starting to come along, I think. It's starting to look a little bit less like blobs. This style of watercolor is not clean or formal at all, but that's what I kind of like about it. I like how blobby and weird it is. It leaves space for the imagination or space for you to just fill in the blanks or whatever. It's kind of hazy or something. It is pretty different, Cookie Lee. It's just, there's a lot of stuff that kind of looks like it won't work, but I somehow make it work. Like, 
obviously when I just started this it was just blobs of colors it didn't look too great but you know now that I'm getting towards the line art I'm defining those blobby shapes and making things look a lot nicer I'm gonna let that dry a couple more seconds there because it is very damp I guess I was complaining about how weird it feels once it dries. I think it feels even weirder when it's still wet. Even though I won't have my book ready to sell by Comic-Con and Longview, it'll still be a very fun con, I'm sure. A new place, a new con. I love going to cons. There are definitely going to be some other cool people there as well. And at the cons, we usually have other stuff that we sell that isn't always available at other places. I'm sure I'll have my book done by the con after next because it's really 
only one chapter that I have to do and then I just have to rewrite on the computer. The only thing that I'm not so sure about is like the whole actually getting it. Still kind of working out the details on that. This is kind of a lumpy dream catcher, but I don't mind. I doubt that Westerian civilians would be that great at making any sort of decoration anyways. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I mean, really honestly, I can't imagine any Westerian civilians just kind of sitting around and making things like little decorations or anything. So I guess it's pretty okay that it's not perfect. Because in their world, I don't think it would be perfect either.
done. Alright, so it's done. It just needs to dry out because it's definitely wobbly. Anyways, yeah, done. So, I guess I'll end it off here. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching and being here. And I'll see you guys Saturday. Goodbye.